So a lot of people have asked me about artificial intelligence and if I am worried about artificial intelligence. The short answer is yes. The long answer is it depends. And let me uh, let me kind of let me explain this. There's three main reasons why I I look at artificial intelligence and I worry about it. First, deep fakes. Um, you're already starting to see artificial intelligence. It's 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 there. It's not the greatest yet, but it's 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 getting there, and it will be there soon, where we can fake a video from any person. Um, it'll you know you could you could have uh, a, a it could see a video of you know let's say President Biden, and you could go and create a message by President Biden with his voice patterns and uh, um, an image saying something. And I worry that, you know, people will do this and it'll start to create a mass panic and um, th those types of things. So that's one aspect that, um, that worries me quite a bit. The second is privacy. The artificial intelligence works on patterns. That's the way it learns. It looks at patterns the same way that we as humans um, learn. We learn through patterns. Um, in the same way, so when you go online, there's data for every aspect. So when you go on Facebook, Facebook knows how far you scroll down, how, how long you watch a video, what types of videos, um, what people you associate with, what level, and it can, it can tell you, it can create a profile on you about many different aspects that it tracks. There's virtually nothing that it doesn't know about you, Facebook alone. Then if you have more, you know, Twitter, if you have Instagram, if you have all these different things, Instagram, it can analyze your, your photos, see what types of things you're doing, and it creates this profile of you. Well, this profile could be used by companies to, you know, they, they already use it to target ads um, specifically to you. Um, they could they, they could sell this data. The federal government could use it to um, track different aspects about you. And even though a lot of times this is called metadata, in other words, uh, it's data about data, um, data that explains data, the, the metadata can get so accurate that it can know who you are without knowing who you are. So it could actually, so it could actually be used to find you um, and, and track you because of that profile. It has your profile. So that is very dangerous to me. Uh, and could the federal government use it um, in a court, such as like in a minority report type of a, a situation where um, they have this data and it would show perhaps your propensity to violence or your propensity to, uh, um, uh, to harm another individual and come stop you before you even create that create that crime or get warrants on you before the uh, before that crime is committed those um, are very that, that's a very dangerous um, and scary thing for me so I I, uh, I worry about that quite a bit the last thing that I, that I worry about is the over reliance on artificial intelligence people don't realize that, that artificial intelligence are based on um, criteria, right? So there's not a one-size-fits-all uh, model of artificial intelligence. So I could create a model of artificial intelligence for speech that could recognize speech patterns. And these could all be used, to, uh, or a speech pattern, or a uh, um, the... Uh, facial features or, or other things. And these could be all used together um, to, uh, for, for whatever purpose the, 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 the overall model has. Now, if we, if we uh, go to these, like chat GT, GP, GTP, it, it will output us you know, text or, or images or things like that. What I worry about is that We'll, we'll start to use those things more and more in academic purposes and not actually do our own research. And therefore, our academic level as a society will fall. And we're already kind of starting to see that where um, you're on social media and you see a meme or, or, or a quote out of context. And we think that 
oh, that's that that's exactly what, uh, and we form an opinion uh, based on that, and we we start to see more and more of this, and it becomes kind of an echo chamber, a confirmation bias from social media. Well, the same thing happens will happen with AI if we if we rely on AI too much to tell us what we think instead of doing our own research. We're, our, the, our society will academically falter. And when this happens, there's going to be an elite group that's, that's going to come in and tell us, no, we need to tell you what to think because, you don't, because you're not doing the research yourself. And you're, we're already starting to see that happen. So those are the three things that really scare me about AI. Um, there's also some really cool things that, that are going on. For example, um, Artificial intelligence is being used in the medical fields to analyze data and um, come up with cures for diseases. So that type of uh, uh, that part of artificial intelligence is absolutely exciting. It's fantastic, um, and it's being used in academia, and you know, in my research to recreate language families, uh, recreate the past, um, translate old text all kinds of different things. So it's, it's really exciting in that way, but there are certain aspects that, uh, that scare me.